H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Welcome to another video of H2K Infosys. In this particular video, we will see the concept of packages and uh, how do we implement the the different access specifiers across packages. So in very short format, how to implement the security of codes or rather the encapsulation technology using the access specifiers across the packages. The first we will see what packages is all about. So packages are created in Java to enable folder structure. So the main basic behavior of package creation is to have a proper folder structure so that the management of the folders containing the classes and other files for a particular project is present properly in a package. Uh, it also can be considered as a namespace that organizes a set of related classes and interfaces. You can also consider package as a namespace out here. In other words, we can say that the package can be defined as a grouping of related types. The related types can be classes, interfaces, enumerations and annotations providing access protection and name for the files present inside it that is classes, interfaces, annotation, etc. Encapsulation technology used in classes and interfaces present inside packages helps us to secure the ports and provides access rights. And that is what I'm going to basically show that how can you implement the concept of access specifier across packages, which is one of the encapsulation techniques. Now, during creation of classes and interfaces, we give package names. If not defined, by default, it takes the uh, name as default package. So when we create files or files like your class files, or your interfaces it asks us uh, the package name so if we do not provide the package name it creates a default package by itself we can also create packages inside packages so we'll see the examples first of all the examples will be into two parts one is how to create packages and see the difference of package creation in eclipse with the workspace that can that gets connected with eclipse and next is access specifiers so let us go ahead and look at this particular scenario. I have Eclipse in front of me. So I'll create a new session out here. Session 30. Click on finish and say no to the perspective out here. So in this particular session 30 project, I'm going to create certain packages first of all. So let's say I create a package called as pack. And uh, another package called pack1 which should reside inside, inside the package called pack. So how do you create a package inside package? So this is created by highlighting pack, right clicking and click on new and choose the option of package. If you see the pack package name is coming because it is inside this package called pack that I am creating another package. How do you create it? Dot pack1. So this precisely means that pack1 is a package created inside the package called pack. Click on finish and you see that pack dot pack1 is coming in this. Symbolization means that pack1 is a package present inside the package called pack. Similarly like this I can create the third package. So right click on source new and create the package. Let's say this package is pack2. Click on finish. Now this is how it looks as, as part of your Eclipse ID. Now since these packages do not have any class files inside it, that is why the symbol is still now in white. The moment I create a class file inside these packages, the symbol will turn into a brown color for packages. Now let us look at how 
how does these packages look in the workspace the workspace that is connected right now is workspace underscore training so we'll open up the workspace i already have it opened now we've created a project called session 30 so this is session 30 and inside the source i have created the packages now inside the source as far as workspace is concerned it shows pack and pack 2 and inside pack you will have pack 1 so this is how it looks like in your workspace the workspace shows that inside the source folder it has only two packages and that is very very true that is inside this source folder the front end packages or the relevant packages will be pack and pack 2 now uh, if you remember i had created pack 1 inside pack so if you click on pack you will see pack 1 out here so this is how it is shown in your workspace while you go back to your eclipse it is shown separately all the packages and this particular package means the pack one is present inside a package called pack now let us go forward and understand the concept of uh, the access specifiers used across packages so what i will do is that i'll create a new class file inside pack and that class file will be called as let's say mm, super admin class file call up the main method and then I'll create another class file inside the package called pack and that will be let's say uh, sorry it'll be called let's say sorry admin call up the main method now according to the access specifier that can be used access specifier let's say public private protected and default access specifiers could be used in global variables in constructors and in methods so super admin let's say has two different variables and let's say i define this as a private global variable of string type let's say uh, super admin username that's one of the global variables similarly like this you will have a super admin password that is also private into nature you call this as password okay <clears throat> like this I will have two methods inside the super admin and the two methods will be to change the username and the password uh, which can be done only by super admin so this particular private global variable or the private function can be only accessed in the class in which it is created and that is also very true because super admins username and password should not be seen by admin or the change of the super admin or the change of the super admin password can be only done by ad super admin not by the admin because the hierarchy of admin is below super admin so let us create two different methods out and the methods will be private methods private uh, void type method name let's say is as change super admin let's say username and i will pass on a string and the string will be let's say you name so what I'm going to do is that whatever is the current value or the latest value okay that can be defined by this super admin out here in the parameter and that will be passed over to the global variable out here so e is equal to you name okay similarly like this I need to I need to type on the change admin username so I can just write down a CISO statement stating that change uh, super admin password is concatenate this with the 
value that is the latest changed super admin value username value Similarly, like this I can create a method to change the super admin password to so I'll just copy this and I will just change this name to super change super admin password and the string that I'm going to actually pass is pass out there and what I'm going to do is that this would be copied super admin password and the current value will be passed the change value password will be passed as a parameter and that is why the parameter value will be passed to the super admin password and the change super admin this is super admin username sorry and this is password super admin password so I can get the current values uh, the current values would be the values that I put out to this global variables so I can call this global variable out here how do I call it this is a non static global variable so I have to create a method of super admin so I'll create a method okay and then I call it with the reference variable of the object of the super admin created dot super admin username so this can be given the earlier username or this is this was the earlier username uh, let's say Peter and I can write down a sys out stating that <coughs> earlier super admin username was let's say sa dot super admin username <coughs> excuse me similarly like this I can have sa dot super admin password what was the earlier super admin password so let's say this should be put in string format because the global variables are of string type so I'll put this as let's say Peter at the rate one two three four and the change username and password if I want to get it then I have to use sa dot changed username that is this one and I have to pass on the current or the change username that you want to have right now so the change username should be Sam and similarly the Sam should have his own password so the change username becomes the current username and the change parts password becomes the current password Sam at the rate one two three four. If I run this particular class file, I'm going to get the result in the console of Eclipse as what is required. Okay, I have not given the CISO for the super admin password, so let me give that. So I can just write down the earlier super admin password was could catenate this with sa dot super admin password and then I'll get the result when I run the class file so earlier super admin username was Peter and that was the password of Peter and the current username or the change username of super admin and change password for super admin is this and if you look at this particular thing all the global variables uh, and the methods had been created with the private access specifier private access specifiers can be used in the class in which it is created now this should not be seen by admin the change username methodologies are the earlier usernames of super admin or the early user all the password earlier password of super admin who is the current uh, what are the current password there is a change password should not be seen by the admin guys so in admin I should create the global variables in such a manner that the change username and the change password or the earlier username or the earlier password of the admin can be seen by super admin but the super admin credentials cannot be seen by admin so what I will do is that understand one thing that both admin and super admin belongs to the same package called pack so 
if you use a default access specifier default access specifiers can be used in the same package in which it is created so i'll create a default access specifier called void let's say admin username and uh, which is, should be of string type rather that is what it is asking for sorry void is not required a default um, user what you call global variable and a default let's say admin password okay and from this I will just call these particular methods and the only thing that I'll do is convert it to a void method to a default with default access specifier and that precisely means that default access specifiers can be used in the package in which it is created so this is so what I am doing is that I have two methods called change super admin username so the change the the change super admin username can be passed out here and the uname can be passed to the global variable admin username for example and I can print out the change admin username as admin username with a small a similarly the for changing the password for the admin I'll call this as change admin username for changing the password the function name can be change admin password and you pass on a parameter of string type and the whatever is the the change password should be that should be passed to the super uh, to the admin password out here this is the global variable out here and you can write down the change admin password is admin password now if i want to get the earliest admin username admin password and the now change username and change password for admin will be the current username and the current password so you can just uh, write this particular stuff stating that uh, i need to call the global variables and the methods which are non-static methods and non-static global variables i need to create an object of the admin class and that will be referred by let's say a reference variable let's say admin okay now i need to get the earlier admin username and an earlier admin password so let's say i first have to give the value to it so admin username let's say is equal to Harry was the earlier admin username and sys out I can write down earlier admin username was concatenate this with this should be within string format and you concatenate this with a dot admin username similarly a dot admin password so I'm defining the earlier password for admin which was let's say Harry at the rate one two three four and I want to get the result in the console so I can just write down this copy this and do the requisite changes required for this printer and command so this will be add earlier admin password was a dot password admin password now I want to get the current value the current value is the change username and the change password for admin how do I get it simple thing I need to just use the reference variable of the admin object that is a dot changed username I need to pass on the change username and the, let's say the change username is Potter and similarly I want to get the change password 
pass on the current password the change password is the current password p o t t e r at the rate one two three four and if i save this class file and run it i'm getting the requisite result for the earlier admin username password and the change username and password now let's say admin wants to see the credentials of super admin which should not be possible because the credentials are nothing but the methods and the global variables which gives you the earlier username and password for the super admin and the current username and password as part of the change super admin username method and the change super admin password method now these are private private can be used only in the class in which it is created so very intelligently what i can do is that i can create the object of super admin let's say sa is equal to new super admin now if i create the object i can use the properties of this class file whose object is created so let's say i tend to use let's say um, the want to get the earlier username and earlier password of super admin so what i can do is that or the current whatever it is i want to get the current username and password through these methods okay so these are private methods private private access specifier so very cleverly i want to get the current current is nothing but the change username and the change password for the super admin so i will use sa mm. let's say i will use your <coughs> dot let's say i'll not get the you know i'm not going to get the methods of super admin out here and the simple reason is that the methods of super admin are private if i forcefully try to use it control c and control v out here and i try to change the super admin username from the admin console for example let's say i give it let's say as sunny if i try to do that and i want to change the super admin password also from the admin console so sa dot the dot should give you the options of getting the methods or the variables of super admins because you have created an object of the super admin out here i'm not getting it so i will forcefully call it copy it and paste it out here and i want to change the password out here to let's say sunny at the rate one two three four now if you look at this there's a run added underline and it is saying that change the visibility of the change super admin username that means change the access specifier for the super admin username and the super admin <coughs> uh, <coughs> for this particular method change this uh, access specifier now, right now it is private if you can see that both are private so it can be accessed only in the class in which it's created so i'm using these methods which are private methods these two methods are private methods okay i'm trying to call it inside another class and that is why this particular error is coming that method change super admin username from the type super admin is not visible the visibility stuff is coming because of the fact that the access specifier that is defined for these methods are private and that is what it does private can be only access in the class in which it is created and if this admin tries to change up the super admin username and super admin password it will not be able to do it because these methods are not visible by the admin class even if you create the object of the super admin that is why these syntax errors are coming not visible if i change it to for example if i change it back to sorry <coughs> if i change it back to let's say default then default means that it can be accessed in the current package and the current package for super admin and admin is pack 
now if you see the red underline has gone then uh, the admin can change the super admins username and the super admins password but i don't want to do that so i will change it back to private 